What's up guys? I am here with um, the first in a new series of videos that I'm going to be making, uh, which I'm going to call Simple TSM Tips. This is inspired by Sensa, uh, who used to do this on YouTube. So they're going to be very short, just showing you um, well, some parts of TSM and uh, how you can can get to grips with it more easily. It's not going to be a full guide series for that. I have my written guide already. Um, so you can check that out if you're interested in that. There's also plenty of other full guide series here on YouTube from other creators, which I'll also be linking in the description. Instead, we'll just look at... Um, today we're going to look at groups and how you easily add items to groups. Um, so uh, we are on an empty profile here. And of course, the easiest way to add something to a group is to if it's in your bags already. So uh, we have some enchants in our bags right here. So maybe we want to make a group for enchants. And then you just click them and you add them to the group. And that's it. That's the absolute easiest way. Now, um, there's some tricks to this. There's some ver or there's some one thing you need to be aware of, and that's this ignore variations button here. Um, so this is important for stuff like uh, like greens and other items with different stat variants or different item levels. Um, so if you click the ignore variation, then it'll just add the base bone clutch stave and it will treat all of these items as if they are the same, regardless of the item level. This is very important for cosmetic items. So for these greens, you'd probably sell these and not care about the item level or stats because people who buy these are mostly going to buy them for the um, the cosmetic value. Um, so for items like that, you want to click ignore variations before you add them so they don't consider uh, the item level or stat variations separately. Um, for something that's max level where people care about stats, then you don't want to click ignore variations. This would be for something like... Uh, uh, Crafters Mark II gear, then you just want to add it uh, without the ignore variation, so it prices it correctly um, when uh, when you're posting it to the auction house. It will then only undercut um, the exact same item, which means same item level and same stats um, when you don't have ignore variations uh, uh, checked. Now lastly, what if you don't have the item in your bags? There, there are a couple of ways. Of course, you can import groups. If someone has made a group string, you can also do this with the at the group maker on the um, on the website for TSM, but there is an easier way. So let's say I want to make a group for the missives for, um, for for legendary crafting. So I'll make a group called missives, but I don't have any missives in my bags. But you can then just go to the base group here and you can search for missive, and it'll search the entire um, the entire database of items that TSM has uh, has seen. Um, so we found all the missives here, so then we just check all all four of them. And then we check, um, go here and we get a list of all the groups we have. Um, we click the missives group and move four items and boom! Now we have the missives in a group and this works for any item in the game. When you go to the base group and search for them you can find anything. Uh, it'll show you the ones you don't have in your bag. You can use ignore variations here as well if you want to make a group for transmog from a specific era. Maybe you know the knife. Or if you just want to do, say, shadow steel. Um, arm guards here, you get the list of like every variant with both the item level 165 and 150 and 117 and, and anything. Or you could just click ignore variations and you get the base item for all of them. And you can make a group with that. Um, so that's the easy way to make groups. Um, I definitely suggest mostly just using the in-game settings for this. There is there is there are a couple of um, of item types where it might make more sense to use the group maker on the website, but it's a little bit more involved, so it's outside of the scope of this video. This is just how you can do it in game. Um, so with this, you'll be making groups a lot faster, and you can then get into the important part of gold making, which is using those groups to post your stuff and uh, buy your materials and all of that jazz. So hopefully uh, this was useful to you. If you enjoyed this, just leave a like or a comment down below. If there's something you want me to cover next, then definitely let me know. I want to focus on the, on the pain points and uh, we'll see you on the next uh, Simple TSM Tips video. Thanks for watching, guys.